Conjoined twins are a scarce phenomena, occurring in just one out of every 200,000 live births. But even among the small number of conjoined twins in the world, there are some who stand out for their unique characteristics and compelling stories. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating lives of some of the most unusual conjoined twins in the world, learning about their stories, challenges, and triumphs. From a baby born with a single body and two heads to Iranian conjoined sisters, here are 20 unusual conjoined twins you won't believe exist. Number 20. Twins born with single body. Conjoined twins are an extremely rare and fascinating occurrence where two babies are born physically connected to each other. In some cases, the twins share vital organs and body parts, making separation surgery difficult or even impossible. Recently, a hospital in southwestern China announced the birth of conjoined twin baby girls with a single body and two heads. The twins were born on a Thursday, weighing 8.8 .8 pounds and measuring 20 inches. They have two spines and two esophagi and share other organs. However, doctors have said that it would be nearly impossible to separate them. It's heartbreaking to hear that the parents initially did not want to keep the babies, likely due to financial concerns. This is a reminder that while conjoined twins may be fascinating, they also face unique challenges and obstacles. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Chang and Eng Chang and Eng Bunker were a pair of conjoined twin brothers born in Siam, now Thailand, in 1811. They were brought to the United States in 1829 and became widely known as Siamese twins, a term that would later refer to all conjoined twins. At first, they were exhibited in freak shows as curiosities and were examined by physicians. However, they eventually gained enough financial success and public recognition to tour independently. Their early exhibitions were focused on exoticizing them and showing off their physical abilities. As they gained more respect, they shifted to a more dignified parlor setting where they would converse with their audiences in English. After a decade of touring, they quit and settled near Mount Airy, North Carolina. There, they became American citizens, married local sisters, and fathered 21 children. Even after settling down, Chang and Eng continued to tour periodically with some of their children. However, their financial situation declined after the Civil War, and they lost some of their wealth and slaves. In 1874, Eng died hours after Chang, and an autopsy revealed that their livers were fused in the ligament connecting their sternums. The details of their early lives are unclear, but they were reportedly raised like any other children by their mother, Nock. The Scottish merchant Robert Hunter is credited with discovering the brothers in 1824 while on a fishing boat. Hunter mistook them for a strange animal, but after meeting them, he saw an economic opportunity in bringing them to the West. It took five years for Hunter to bring them to the United States. Changaning's tour contract stipulated that their tour would last for five years, though a rumor later circulated that their mother had sold them into slavery. Their mother believed they were dead until Christian missionaries contacted her in 1845, informing her that they were alive and married. Chang and Eng's lives were the subject of much editorial invention and sideshow hyperbole even during their lifetimes. Fictionalized works often used their story to symbolize cooperation or discord, particularly in representing the Union and Confederacy during the Civil War. Number 18. Helen and Judith The story of Helen and Judith, also known as the Hungarian Sisters, is a unique one, filled with family ties and an unfortunate ending. At first glance, the birth of twin girls in Surni, Hungary may seem unremarkable, but what made Helen and Judith stand out was the fact that they were conjoined twins. Medical professionals at the time couldn't explain this rare occurrence, and instead, they chalked it up to their mother's overactive imagination during pregnancy. It may seem like a silly diagnosis today, but at the time, that was the end of the discussion. Despite their unique circumstance, Helen and Judith adapted to their situation, and their condition eventually became their livelihood. From a young age, they were exhibited across Europe, where they underwent medical tests, received an education, and mingled with society's most creative and inquisitive minds. Sadly, their travels came to a halt when Judith suffered a stroke at the age of six, which left her partially paralyzed for the rest of her life. Despite this setback, they continued to tour for three more years until Judith's condition could no longer withstand the grueling schedule. At the age of nine, the girls were taken into the convent of St. Ursula in Pressburg, Hungary, 
where they found solace in their faith. It was there that their story came to an end, when they both fell ill with a fever in 1723. When their time came, Judith passed away first, followed almost immediately by her sister, Helen, staying close by her twin, even in the afterlife. Number 17. Millie and Christine McCoy Millie and Christine are two of the most amazing people in history, and together they are the most dynamic duo. These amazing women were conjoined twins who went by the stage names the United African Twins, the Carolina Twins, the Two-Headed Nightingale, and the Eighth Wonder of the World. Born in Whiteville, North Carolina in 1851 to enslaved parents, Millie and Christine were sold at just 10 months old to a showman who exhibited them in fairs and freak shows for pay. Despite facing years of slavery and forced medical observations, these remarkable twins never let their circumstances hold them back. They eventually ended up in Britain, where they were reunited with their mother and provided with an education by their new owners. They learned to speak five languages, dance, play music, and sing, and even meet Queen Victoria during their travels. As the two-headed nightingale, Millie and Christine enjoyed a successful entertainment career, performing with the Barnum Circus and showcasing their incredible talents. Later in life, the twins returned to the farm where they were born, which their father had bought from their former owner. Sadly, Millie and Christine passed away from tuberculosis at the age of 61. They were buried in unmarked graves, but later moved to a cemetery in Whiteville, with their tombstone engraved with the words, A soul with two thoughts, two hearts that beat as one. Number 16. Ronald and Donnie Galen Now let me tell you about a fascinating pair of twins, Ronald Lee Galen and Donald Lee Galen, born on October 28, 1951 in Dayton, Ohio. The two brothers were conjoined from their sternum to the groin and shared a set of organs. Imagine that! Despite the challenges that come with being conjoined twins, the Galens lived a long and remarkable life. In fact, according to the Guinness World Records, they were the oldest living set of conjoined twins in the world until their passing on July 4, 2020. What's more, they also held the record for being the longest-lived conjoined twins in history, surpassing even Chang and Eng Bunker. Due to their unique situation, the Galen twins were not able to attend school like most children. However, their father found a creative way to provide for his family by taking the twins on the road as a sideshow attraction. The twins traveled all over the United States as well as Latin America and Canada, where they became quite the celebrities. Their tours provided an income that supported their large family. After three decades in show business, the twins retired and settled down in Dayton, Ohio, where they purchased their own home using their sideshow earnings. Despite being retired from entertainment, they continued appearing on TV shows like The Jerry Springer Show, a Discovery Channel documentary, and a Channel 5 documentary. They were active in their community and lived a mostly normal life with the help of a custom double wheelchair. Unfortunately, in 2009, Ronnie developed a severe lung infection, which put both twins in danger. The brothers required round-the-clock care, and their younger brother Jim and his wife Mary were unable to bring them into their home as it was not handicap accessible. Thankfully, the local community rallied together and built a special addition to Jim and Mary's home, which allowed the twins to receive the care they needed. In the end, the Galen twins passed away on July 4, 2020, due to congestive heart failure. Number 15. Masha and Dasha Masha and Dasha were Ishkiopagus Trippus conjoined twins from Russia who lived quite a fascinating life. At birth, they were taken from their mother and studied by Soviet physiologists. Their mother was told that her daughters had died soon after their birth, which wasn't true. The twins were ideal for research, as they shared a blood system but had separate nervous systems. The scientists carried out experiments on them, which included packing one twin in ice, burning them, depriving them of sleep, and electrocuting them in time with a metronome to test their reflexes. Their case is now considered a prolonged case of medical torture. The twins were also placed in a boarding school for children with motor impairment in Novocherkosk, southern Russia, to continue their education. There, they studied for four years in what they later recalled was the happiest time of their lives. In 1968, their third leg was amputated in an effort to make them less noticeable to the Soviet public, who were not used to seeing disabled people. Their twins had developed different personalities over time. Masha was dominant, tomboyish, and cheeky, while Dasha was submissive, thoughtful, and quiet. Dasha fell in love with a fellow student. 
but Masha put a stop to the romance. Dasha fell into a depression and tried to hang herself when the pair were 18. In 1989, they moved into the 20th home for veterans of war and labor and lived there for the next 14 years. They earned pocket money sewing diapers and assembling pipettes. They found their birth mother, Yekaterina Kiovish Lopova, in 1985, but Masha broke off the connection after four years. They were visited weekly by Auntie Nadia, Nadezhda Gorakova, their physiotherapist, who befriended them throughout their lives. In 1988, with the coming of Gorbachev's campaign of openness, or Glasnost, they made an appeal on a national television chat show, Vizgliat, to be allowed to leave the 20th home, which was being turned into a mental asylum. The appeal was successful, and they moved to the sixth home for veterans of labor with greatly improved living conditions. They bought themselves luxuries such as a television set, an Atari, a music cassette player, and a computer on the proceeds of charitable contributions. They were also able to buy alcohol. In the end, Masha and Dasha lived an extraordinary life. Though their early years were filled with medical experiments and torture, they managed to make the best of their life. Number 14. Daisy and Violet Daisy and Violet Hilton, the conjoined twins who rocked the entertainment industry in the 1920s and 1930s, were born in Brighton, England in 1908 to a barmaid, Kate Skinner. Despite being joined at the hips and buttocks, they shared only blood circulation and had their own organs. They spent their childhood being exhibited in sideshows, but their fame grew in the United States, where they even starred in movies such as Freaks and Chained for Life. Sadly, the twins were physically and emotionally abused by their biological mother and then their owner, Mary Hilton, who saw their condition as a money-making opportunity. After her death, the twins' new guardians, Edith and Meyer, continued to exploit them by taking all the money they earned themselves, threatening them with torture and institutionalization, and forcing them to perform for hours. In 1931, on the advice of Harry Houdini, the twins hired attorney Martin Arnold, who helped them become legally emancipated from the Myerses. Despite their tough start in life, Daisy and Violet went on to have successful careers and enjoy the finer things in life. Number 13. Lucio and Simplicio Godina Lucio and Simplicio Godina were conjoined twins from the Philippines. They were born on March 8, 1908 and had a unique life story. When they were 21, they tied the knot with identical twin sisters named Natividad and Victorina Matos, and together, both twins formed a sensational sideshow act. The four of them wowed audiences with their musical talents and danced their way into the hearts of many. They even performed in Coney Island, which was quite the hotspot back in the day. However, tragedy struck when Lucio passed away from rheumatic fever in New York City. In an effort to save Simplicio's life, doctors performed a separation surgery, which was a huge risk at the time. While Simplicio did survive the operation, he unfortunately succumbed to spinal meningitis not long after. It's a sad ending to a remarkable story, but their legacy as performers will always be remembered. Number 12. Abby and Brittany Hensel Abby and Brittany are pretty unique as they're conjoined twins, but they have two heads and one torso, known as dicephalic parapagus. Despite this, they're actually quite symmetric for conjoined twins, so they look like they have a single body without any noticeable variations from typical proportions. They even have individual organs like a heart, stomach, spine, pair of lungs, and spinal cord. When they were little, it was interesting to see how they learned to crawl, walk, and clap since they had to work together. But now, they've got it down pat and can do things like eating and writing separately and at the same time. However, they need coordination for activities like running, swimming, playing volleyball, and even driving a car. Abby and Brittany have been in the public eye for quite some time now, with coverage in Life magazine and an appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show. They even had their own reality show on TLC in 2012. Number 11. Joseph and Luca Joseph and Luca were twin brothers who were once conjoined but underwent a miraculous surgery to be separated. These guys were born joined at the back of the head, facing opposite directions, which must have made it difficult for them to see eye to eye on anything. In 1997, a team of specialists led by legendary neurosurgeon Ben Carson performed a 28-hour operation to separate the twins, who were only 11 months old at the time. Thankfully, both brothers survived the procedure and were able to live relatively normal lives. However, when a reporter caught up with them at 21, 
they discovered that Joseph was struggling with some mental challenges that were impacting his learning. Luca, on the other hand, dropped out of school in grade 9, which must have been tough given that he was bullied for the scars on his head. Despite these challenges, both brothers remained positive, and Luca even had a chance to pursue his dream of becoming a mechanic. Number 10. Katie and Eilish Katie and Eilish Holton were Irish conjoined twins born in 1988. They were joined at the pelvis and legs, and their story caught the attention of the media with several newspaper articles and even a two-part TV documentary made about them. In 1992, they underwent a risky surgery to be separated, but sadly, Katie did not survive and passed away four days later. However, Eilish bravely continued on and has since become an inspiration in her own right. In fact, rumor has it that she even inspired the name of none other than the superstar singer Billie Eilish. Number 9. Anastasia and Tatiana These girls were born in Rome to Romanian parents, and they are craniopagus conjoined twins. This means they're joined at the head. Anastasia leads the way while Tatiana follows, and they're always together. They're like two peas in a pod. Doctors once thought about separating them, but it was too risky. These girls share blood flow to the back of the brain and some brain matter. Anastasia relies on Tatiana's kidneys, and Tatiana relies on Anastasia's circulatory system. They're a dynamic duo and are developing normally for their age. They even speak both Romanian and English. How impressive is that? Number 8. Laurie and George Chappell Meet Laurie and George Chappell, the coolest conjoined twins around. Born as Laurie and Dory Chappell in 1961, they've lived as one for over 60 years. George has even made a name for himself as a country singer, bringing joy to audiences with his beautiful voice. In fact, they're so amazing that they made it into the Guinness World Record as the oldest living conjoined twins in 2022. But that's not all that makes them unique. George's gender transition also made history, as he and Lori became the world's first same-sex conjoined twins to identify as different genders. Talk about breaking barriers and living life on your own terms. Number 7. The Parasitic Twin Betty Lou Williams was born on January 10, 1932. Born with a parasitic twin in her abdomen, she was born with an underdeveloped twin that is attached to her, completely dependent on her body. At a tender age, she began performing under Dick Best's New York Museum. By age two, Betty Lou was already making an incredible $250 a week, which eventually increased to over $1,000 a week as she reached adulthood. A naturally good child, she used her earnings to buy her parents a 260-acre farm and put all 11 siblings through college. Betty Lou continued performing until her untimely death at the young age of 23 due to a heart attack. She is often remembered as a kind soul who had a lot of love to share, despite her differences. Number 6. Maria and Teresa Meet Maria and Teresa Tapia, two formerly conjoined twins from the Dominican Republic born on April 8, 2010. These two little ladies were connected by their lower chest and abdomen, meaning they had to share a liver, pancreas, and a small portion of their small intestine. But after a successful 20-hour separation surgery at the Children's Hospital of Richmond in Virginia on November 7, 2011, they were finally able to enjoy some independence. The surgical team comprised 45 surgeons who divided the pancreas, liver, and other organ systems that the girls shared, finally rebuilding their abdomen walls. After a six-week recovery period, these girls are now walking and growing up independently, forming their own personalities. Thanks to the World Pediatric Project, Maria and Teresa were given a new lease on life and continue to receive follow-up care in the United States. These two have come a long way and have a bright future ahead of them. Number 5. Viet and Duck Viet and Duck's story is both inspirational and tragic. They were born in 1981 and separated in 1988 with the help of the Japanese Red Cross after Viet went into a coma. Their relatives believe that their conjoined state was due to the effects of Agent Orange. A defoliant used by the U.S. military during the Vietnam War had proven to cause cancer and other health problems to anyone exposed. After their separation, Duck dropped out of junior high school and learned computer programming. He's now working at a hospital at Ho Chi Minh City and got married in 2006. Sadly, Viet's health issues continued after the surgery, and he passed away in 2007 due to liver failure and pneumonia. It's such a heartbreaking story but their bravery and resilience continue to inspire people all over the world. 
The twins even received comprehensive media coverage in Japan, where they visited numerous times for medical treatment. Now the story of these two is a powerful reminder of the tragic consequences of war and the importance of peace. Number 4. Eliza and Mary The Chalkert sisters are a fascinating part of local folklore and bread-making. Legend has it that Eliza and Mary Chalkhurst were born in 1100 in Biddenden, a small village in Kent. It's unclear what type of conjoined twins the two were, but experts now believe that they were Pygopagus twins, joined at the hips or buttocks rather than both the hip and shoulder. Despite this uncertainty, the sisters are rumored to have been the best of friends, though they sometimes got into the occasional brawl. When the Chalker sisters passed away in 1134, they left 20 acres of land to the village, with the earnings used to feed the poor. To this day, bread and cheese are given out annually to those who register at the old workhouse on the village's main road, continuing the legacy of the twins. The land where they were allegedly born is still known as the Cheese Lands and Biddenden Cakes. To this day, depictions of the sisters are still a popular treat during the Easter celebration. However, not everyone believes that the Chalkert sisters were real people. Some historians argue that they never existed, while others think that they may have lived in the 16th century, not the 12th. Regardless of the truth, the sisters have become a beloved part of local lore and symbolize sisterly love. Even if they were a myth, their story has endured, and they're still remembered today in Biddenden Church, where a stone with a diagonal line is said to mark their final resting place. Number 3. Giacomo and Giovanni Giacomo and Giovanni Battista Tocci were conjoined twins born in Italy in the late 19th century. Their birth was uncomplicated, and they were born with one head each but were connected at the torso. Despite early predictions that they would not live long, the twins became a sensation and traveled extensively throughout Europe and the United States, exhibiting themselves in freak shows. They had two hearts, two stomachs, two sets of lungs, two separate diaphragms, and a shared large and small intestine. Though they never learned to walk due to their parents' exploitation, they could balance and move around using a chair or other objects. The twins were fluent in multiple languages and had different personalities and preferences. After retiring from the circus in their 20s, they became recluses, never leaving their villa in Venice. They were rumored to have married and even had children, though details are uncertain. Number 2. Tatiana and Krista now, we have Krista and Tatiana Hogan, aka the coolest twins you'll ever hear about. These Canadian twins were born in 2006 and are conjoined craniopagus twins, which means they're joined at the head and share a brain. Yep, you heard that right. They're the only unseparated twins of their type currently alive in Canada, and they live with their mom and siblings in Vernon, British Columbia. When Krista and Tatiana were born, they were given a 20% chance of survival. But these little fighters proved the odds wrong and came out wiggly, vigorous, and very vocal at birth. They weighed a whopping 12 and a half pounds when they were born by cesarean section. However, things weren't all sunshine and rainbows for the twins. In 2007, it was discovered that Tatiana's heart was working harder than Krista's, causing high blood pressure. But doctors devised a plan to help Krista's heart give Tatiana's a break. What's more, the twins' nervous systems are highly interconnected, so when one is tickled, the other jumps. And get this, putting a pacifier in one twin's mouth would stop the other from crying. They're like two halves of a whole, and it's honestly amazing to see how connected they are. There was even a documentary made about the twins' lives that confirmed they shared a thalamus, which connects their brain stems. This means one brain receives signals from the other, making them unique even among craniopagus twins. The documentary also confirmed a remarkable detail. They can see out of each other's eyes. How incredible is that? In my opinion, that's even better than the fact they can taste what the other one is eating, although that's pretty cool too. And now, it's time for today's topic. Now these two twins are definitely among the most unusual conjoined twins you won't believe exist. The twins on the left are conjoined right in the middle of their body. Both have two arms, but they share the same chest, torso, and legs. These two are pretty impressive, and they've learned how to move around while sharing the same body and the same pair of legs. Now let's take a look at the photo on the right. These two are models, and both of them look incredibly stunning, don't you think? It's great that even in our times, even those who are different get the chance to model and do what they love. What do you think? 
As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. Ladan and Lale Bijani These are two amazing conjoined twins from Iran. They were joined at the head and were born on December 31, 1973. These remarkable women had big dreams and aspirations. Ladan wanted to be a lawyer, and Lale wanted to be a journalist. They lived together in an apartment while attending law school, but they always knew they wanted to be separated since they were children. In 2003, after years of searching for the right medical team, the sisters underwent surgery to be separated. It was a complicated procedure with 28 doctors and over 100 medical assistants working in shifts at Raffles Hospital in Singapore. The surgery was very risky as their brains were fused together and shared a major vein. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned and both sisters lost a significant amount of blood during the operation. Ladan passed away on the operating table, and Lale followed 90 minutes later. The loss of these two remarkable women was felt around the world. And that concludes our video on the most unusual conjoined twins in the world. Which of these twins did you find the most intriguing? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.